Good evening and welcome to day five of our devotional reading. Um, like I posted this morning, um, I was doing day five tonight since we were behind and tomorrow six and seven will be posted. The devotional today for day five is Seek Your Worth in Christ. Genesis 29, 16 through 18. Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older, older daughter was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah had weak eyes, but Rachel had a lovely figure and was beautiful. Jacob was in love with Rachel. Think about what it'd be like to constantly try and gain acceptance from someone else. You try so hard as you possibly can to measure up and be good enough, but no matter what you do, you just can't meet their expectations. This is exactly what it was like for Leah. Because it was normal during the time in which Leah lived, both she and her sister Rachel were married to a man named Jacob. Even though he was committed to both of them, Jacob loved Rachel more, and Leah was very aware of it. God saw that Leah was unloved by her husband, so he blessed her with many children which in her culture would have elevated her. But instead of focusing on the fact that the Lord saw her value and blessed her, Leah continued to place all of her worth in what her husband thought of her. We see this reflection in the way she named her sons. Genesis twenty nine thirty two, Leah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Reuben. For she said, The Lord has seen my affliction, surely my husband will love me now. With each child, Leah hoped Jacob would finally love her, but despite her, despite her efforts, he never gave her what she wanted. Sometimes it's easy to allow things like a significant other, children, job, or social status define our worth. But finding our true value in what others think of us is not possible. We'll never feel satisfied. The only way we can find true satisfaction is when we let God's view of us define our worth. We see Leah discover this when she named her final child. She begins to see how much the Lord values her, and this time she chooses to praise him for it. Genesis twenty nine thirty five, And she conceived again and bore a son and said, This time I will praise the Lord. If we continue to place our value in the acceptance or love of others, we'll never find the joy the Lord wants for us. Only He can truly fill our hearts and bring us the validation we need. Instead of focusing on things around us that are out of control, let's choose to focus on God, because only He can help us to find the sense of worth we need. In your prayer time, ask God to help you see how much He truly values you. Tell Him what you want to surrender. Praise him for the good things he has given you. Amen. One of the scriptures for this is Colossians 2, 9 and 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities and power. Amen. And Thank you for joining me for two today, days four and five on this devotional series. I hope you are enjoying these. Make sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you know when all these are coming and all the other things that we do on this channel. But I pray that you have a blessed evening and a blessed weekend that is ahead of us. And um, six and seven will be tomorrow. From our home to yours, God bless.